Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as a Russian SFSR. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I was getting a little, uh, testy, I would say, in which soldiers just weren't doing their jobs and things like that, and I guess I, uh, wait, I made my coastal divisions 22 combat width. Uh, well then, I don't make, remember making them 22 combat width, but let's take that off. I did put on cavalry in my garrison divisions, mostly because I wanted a little bit more suppression, just in case we needed to suppress the local populace. So, and cavalry battalions do a little bit better at suppression than infantry. So that's why I put them in there. Uh, it looks like our navy has encountered the massive Swedish navy, or at least massive compared to our navy. So honestly, it doesn't look like they, they're very strong. <clears throat> Their heavy cruisers are just coastal defense ships. Uh, yeah. I guess one of them is really, really injured. We have a couple guys retreating. Uh, I told my guys to retreat because we have no battleships here, so. Go ahead and just leave as fast as you possibly can. I don't want my destroyers to get too sunk. If I lose a few destroyers, so be it. You guys come to the lower Baltic Sea while I send you up north. Hopefully within this episode we are will manage, um... Just striking into enemy territories a little bit better. Uh, overall, I want you to do this. We have taken quite a few casualties. 2.3 million. But then again, we are like the only real major power in our faction that can really do anything. And someone did comment with a single term. And that person said India. And you are absolutely correct. I don't know what you meant by that, but I'm going to go with... Yeah, I need divisions on my Indian border immediately. So... Uh, let's see, a new Soviet theater once again. And for some reason, just today specifically, my nose has been very, very runny. It might be the weather. I usually don't get allergies, but, you know, I don't know. I really don't know. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully we can finish up Turkey, because, my God, I really, really want to finish up Turkey, because I need armies, and I need to move them around, like, ASAP. I need my tanks out of Greece, and immediately go straight to Italy, or Turkey, or, you know, something like that. It looks like we're getting attacked here in French Italy. Or just, I guess, France. Who, actually, I guess last time, these divisions were only 20 width instead of 40 width. So, you know, go figure. Oh, right. Sorry about that. My nose is a little runny. And I grabbed some tissues just in case. Where I live, it's supposed to be warm out. Not sure why my nose is acting all up. Ooh, anyways. Ooh, my goodness. Take half you guys, help attack this area. Finish this little front off. Honestly, at this point, we have like 10 separate fronts. Ooh, there goes my nose. Ooh, ooh baby. But cool, we got 10% more quicker research speed. Happy 1947, guys. I don't think I said that last time, but happy 1947, regardless. Uh, nothing there. We lost two planes. We lost, or we sunk an enemy Japanese destroyer. Uh, down here in Malaya, we are trying Oh, infantry expert to become a little bit stronger. These guys, I guess, were only 20 width as well, so, yeah. Um, just kind of hang out. Hopefully, Siam will actually increase the Infrastructure there, they never will. But hopefully they do something. I'm going to take my guys off aggressively execute battle plans, because that honestly didn't work that well for us last time. But we'll see what happens. Alright, yeah, cut these guys off. Duce, whatever place that is. Uh, it looks like we will need a little bit more fuel. And I did send these guys, <clears throat> the Black Sea Fleet, which is pretty garbage, to convoy raid enemy convoys. Yeah. Uh, just go right there immediately, so you can cut those guys off if you can. we got a little bit more things we can do here, but I'm going to change uh, our national character for the legal status of women to become traditional gender roles, or traditional roles. Can I say traditional gender roles on YouTube? Doesn't matter, I don't really care. Uh, let's see, apparently the UK invaded again, so guys, I really need the tanks to move, but then again, it is paused, so whatever. Uh, last time, the United States did go to war with us, which was honestly very, very aggravating. But, uh, with these guys here, I'm a little confident with th this army group, just because there's three full armies here, and once Italy's done, then we can start relaxing a little bit more. 
Oh, that's not good. We lost a destroyer and six planes in exchange for a destroyer. Actually, that's not bad. A destroyer for a destroyer? I mean, yeah, they didn't lose a bad... They lost a bad destroyer? They didn't lose a good destroyer like I did, but... Destroyers are cheap. And besides, we sunk a uh, sub as well. Oh my goodness, my nose. What is wrong with you? Cool. And these guys are also... Oh. Trying to get as many supplies in for the soldiers because... I guess they were 20 with divisions. Unfortunate. And somehow, we cannot break into Sweden yet. Very unfortunate. Do we have any bombers? Do we have any... Oh, we got some too. Level 2 medium bombers. Uh, Go ahead and just solely focus on southern Sweden. I do have a nuke. I do want to save my nuke, though. Ooh, see? We sunk another uh, Swedish sub. Awesome. Awesome. We finished off most of the Netherlands already. Great. 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 I don't want to advance just yet. Our guys are still... Some of these guys are becoming 40 width. So, there's that. You guys are holding very well. We have a few... Let's see. Was it some Czech divisions around here? With the main army already down here, I'm a little bit more secure with this. I could use these couple of Czech divisions to help conquer this little portion of the German invasion there, as well as Aarhus. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Man, oh man. Ah. Cool. And, of course, the UK just like, I want to move wherever I feel like. And I'm like, you're going to die. See how that works? Uh, go and throw you on Coast Guards. I could use more Coast Guards. Cordell is gone. It looks like the French are really trying to attack us, or maybe the British. I'm not really sure who. Uh, I guess it's the Brits. Yeah, keep attacking me over here. I, I appreciate it. I really do. Really, really do. And we sunk a Jap two Japanese destroyers, followed by a Japanese destroyer, followed up by two Japanese destroyers, followed up by another Japanese destroyer. A Japanese light cruiser. Ooh, that's new. A Japanese destroyer. And guess what? Two more Japanese destroyers. And... This part of Malaya is falling down, and it's going to be great. Next up, Turkish Convoy. Good. Oh, you guys did a great job there. Nice. You guys should be commended. Maybe we'll actually link up with this side of um, Turkey, and then have a united Turkish front against, well, Turkey, I guess. So we can t unite, push towards the south, the center, and the south, and move this army back to take out Izmir. And then take these two armies and go to North Africa and then South and well Central and then South Africa from that direction. That would prove to be very good. Uh, I really don't like that sp that Spain is not doing super great against the French. It's unfortunate. Ooh, three Japanese destroyers there. Another Japanese destroyer. Uh, I will let you know that I did tab over to the UK and the British or the no, they're the same. The UK and the and the Americans just just to see where their navies were at, and regarding Japan, their war against Japan, they're doing absolutely nothing. They have a lot of divisions down here, but against, like, these islands, and then, like, Taiwan and Iwo Jima, they're doing absolutely nothing. It's kind of <clears throat> annoying. Oh. So, it's really, really frustrating to see that the Americans and the British aren't doing a single thing to stop the Japanese, really. They're almost solely focused on me, which I kind of understand, but at the same time, that really shouldn't happen since the Allies were at war with Japan much sooner, or for much longer, than they were at war with me. So that honestly makes no sense. So, uh, you guys need to be quick, because I don't want to get surrounded with these guys, all these 24 divisions. Yeah, Sweden. Uh, you know what? I have a nuke. I'm... Ah, uh, I wish I could nuke here. I need... Oh, I just need a strategic bomber. <clears throat> Go ahead and give me a strategic bomber if we have one. Thank you. Because I want to break into Sweden as fast as possible. Close this front up and I just got to use nukes strategically. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's, it's going okay. It's not too bad. And some for some reason, I can't change the color of my puppets. I, did have, I have implemented that into other campaign runs I've done before. Uh, lately, ooh, nice sunk a Turkish destroyer. I have been playing, ooh, state mandate, personality cult. Ooh, justify war goal sounds. No, 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 we don't want that. That gives us more fascism. Social order, less stability, more resource, ooh, resource efficiency gain. That's good. Can't do hierarchy. 
Melting pot. More monthly population. Wow. Civilian infrastructure speed. Uh, research speed is okay. The greater good. Uh, if you need that. I'll probably go with cultural norms eventually, but let's go ahead and go with women. Just because, well, I already said that we would do that. Oh, we lost the plane. Oh, nice. Now we can actually... Oh, we've already broken into Sweden. That's good. The Sweden and the Norwegians are definitely going to fall with this army approaching them. Ugh. But, um, yeah, you guys. I need you to hurry the heck up. Like, I really don't want to get cut off up here. And I was playing in Kaiserreich. Ooh, two more done. Playing in Kaiserreich, the country of Qing China. I had never played as Qing China before. I mean, yeah, there's Qing China in Vanilla Hoi 4, but in Kaiserreich, never. Basically, oh, that's not looking good. Yeah, um. I can't deploy any more soldiers, god dang it. But, Qing China basically has a generic focus tree, except it does have a slight, ever so slight, um, focus tree within the focus tree page that gives it just a slightly more flavor than your average generic country that is in Kaiserreich. It has focuses to take out the Shang, Qing, Chang, Guo rebels, and they just basically try to unite China. I ended that campaign. Ooh. Um, you guys, hold on. Why are you in the water? Uh, I'm not going to do anything before anything else happens. Oh, maybe you actually did take Athens, but then nothing else really happened. Go ahead and move. I need you to move faster than this. But yeah, uh, I stopped my Qing China campaign when I was at war with the, both the Mongolians, the Tibetans, as well as Japan and Fengqian government China, which was very interesting. Pretty fun. I, I actually really enjoyed it, seeing as I could probably somehow unite China fairly easily. Because when I played as the Qing Chinese, uh, I demanded that the AOG or the German Chinese China, which is kind of weird to say German Chinese, but uh, that group, they uh, just gave up and gave me all their territory, which is awesome. Just d literally doubled your factories. So I thought that was a lot of fun. Very interesting. It can be a little difficult initially just because you're Qing China. You're like, like where my mouse is right now, just like a like just like a fifth of an, all of China. Kind of difficult, but probably the most powerful Chinese uh, government within Kaiserreich. At least at the current moment, I did want to try out Qing China before the Chinese rework comes out because there is a Chinese re rework that will be coming out in time, plus or, plus or minus two weeks. I mean, <laughs> plus or minus two weeks. Yeah, that always happens. God dang it. Ugh, I need to send my tanks over here, but I'm a little strapped for manpower at the moment or strapped for divisions. Uh, you guys, you guys are getting a little stronger every day, so not too bad. These guys in Sweden are doing a great job. Hopefully, distracting quite a few soldiers from this end. Go ahead and move those guys over there. Come up that way, guys. Uh, just head that way and just come up that way. That that'll be nice. Uh, give me you. Stop, and then you come up this way. Cool. We are the only ones actually just actively destroying Japanese ships. Destroyer, destroyer. Awesome. And we're almost done with Singapore, which is great, 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 great. Just go ahead and push them in. Because India, actually, I did see that the Americans were sending a crap ton of divisions to India, of all places. Not even Europe. They have some divisions in Europe, of course, but compared to where they're sending their divisions to India, there are a ton of enemy divisions in India. And I'm kind of glad that that one guy just said India and reminded me that, oh, yeah, that's not good. All right, seriously, finish these guys off because they invaded Hamburg again. Uh, this is this is honestly infuriating because, come on, this shouldn't happen. Guys, guys, come on. Where are my allies? Wait, I don't have allies. Oh, okay. No allies. Uh, but come on, check people. You got this. Just, just destroy these guys and push back up north and just do whatever we need to do. Nice, we sunk a Swedish heavy cruiser. And, well, at least our allies did something. Looks like the Spanish, while they're losing their war on three different fronts, are uh, took the Allen Islands. Oh, and we have... Oh, no, we got our battleships here. We're finding... We've already sunk a, a Swedish, almost a Japanese, but it's a Swedish coastal defense heavy cruiser. 
Yeah, suck on these battleships. That'll teach you a lesson or two. Nice. Very good. And obviously, we only have 44 days until we are out of fuel, which is a little bit not good. Nice. Need a little bit less in terms of aluminum from Hungary. So stop abusing them too much. That'll be good. Come on, check divisions. You got this. You got this. Just believe. Believe you can, and you probably will. Armor piercing cap shells. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, we need fuel. I don't want to forget that. I definitely need more fuel. Uh, ooh, we already trying to get more fuel. Ah, but no. Fuel gain per oil, and then fuel gain from refineries. Oh, yeah. All right. That's good. And we lost that. Oh, we actually have mostly finished up the campaign down here in Greece. Not quite completely yet, though, but very, very close. Just go ahead and go ham. Uh, I really, honestly, need you guys to finish this up as quick as possible because the Allies invaded Yugoslavia again. Well, even though we took control of American-held Italy, so that's pretty good. At least, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. Um, we're holding here in France. Our divisions are getting much stronger facing the enemies in the Western Front. Uh, you guys, take these guys out. There's It's only a single last British division. For you guys, I want you to be ham. I need you to be crazy. Because time is not on our side. Because we gotta take these enemies out quickly. Coming up north, they're doing alright, I suppose. Take those guys out. I mean, we're sticking a lot of ships. We're losing a couple planes here and there. What is our stockpile right now? So we need more motorized rocket artillery, definitely. Other than that, we got a lot of heavy fighters. We got a couple of medium bombers, which we could actually probably use right now. But then that will just increase our fuel costs. So, oh, you guys did a great job. Nice. See, these check divisions. Great people. Great checks. Actually, I need to go cash a check, quite literally. But, mm, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We got more rubber coming along. What do we need? We need more fuel. And rubber. Let's get one or two of these bad boys. That should be pretty good. So we got that. Need more divisions. Ships, planes are not too bad. I would like more naval bombers, but, you know, there's only so much you can do. Republic of Turkey, at least we've linked up with these guys. That is good. That is really actually good. Have the Turks capitulated yet? Turks. Turkey. No, but they're close. I'm kind of surprised they haven't capitulated yet. It's only been a month since we started playing again, so... Go figure. Go down. Because I need to immediately turn this army around. Uh, let's see. You guys, get up to there. Get up to there. Push them out. Take you guys. Attack. Up to Patras. These guys, I don't think they're going to survive. I could be wrong. Could definitely be wrong. Ooh. Another Swedish destroyer sunk. Swedish light cruiser sunk. And we shot down 12 enemy planes. Not bad, not bad. You guys are over here. I want you to go ham now. We're attacking Sweden from two sides. That's great. Over here. Oh, we could definitely do some exploits. Exploit their line. Hit them hard. Hit them hard. That should definitely win there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Where are we not winning? That's a good question to ask. Yugoslavia, we're not winning. That's mostly because I don't have an army over there. We sunk a Greek convoy. Greek destroyer, I mean. Uh, let's see. You guys seem to be okay. The Middle East seems to be a problem, but... Then again, when is the Middle East ne not a problem? Let's be real here. Alright, you guys take these guys out. Oh, wow. We There's been a lot of things going on in the Sea of Japan. Japanese convoy, Japanese destroyer, Japanese destroyer, J four Chilean subs, and then another Japanese destroyer followed up by a loss of a plane. Awesome, we're done down here. Uh, definitely make sure that you actually have people guarding the port, because I don't want to have to come back down here and tell you you're not doing a good enough job. Now, we're in Asia. I'm actually going to move... Let's see, where are you guys? You guys are up north. I'm going to move you to the Asian group. You guys are down here doing nothing. I'm going to combine you two. I'm going to add you to here. And, because of that, I'm going to make you have one humongous front. Good luck, guys. You're going to need it. Another Romanian division. Sounds good to me. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and add them 
to the Czech Romanian group here. No, thank you. eBay, I just got a recommendation from eBay to buy Just Dance 2020. No, thank you. I'm not into dancing games, at least at the current moment. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and take these bad boys out. You guys do the same thing. To get the Patras if you can. That'll be great. You take that island out. And then we'll send the tanks up this way, kill these guys off, send the infantry divisions, some of them in Turkey. Oh, god dang it, we got encircled again. For now. And then take out this part of Turkey, which sucks. Uh, how are we doing over here? Well, we're definitely doing stuff. Just go ham. Push them out of Italy. Let's see, nice. Two Swedish destroyers sunk. Eleven more planes shot down. Uh, our ships might be getting really injured. Ah, uh, they seem to be okay for now. Oh, but we have another three ships we can add. Nice. Uh, which one is this? Yeah, it's this guy. First modern fleet plus. Nice. Go ahead and combine. So now we have four battleships in a single fleet. It's kind of impressive, not going to lie. Oh, and instantly we find another oh, a lone Swedish destroyer. That's so sad. Those poor Swedes. Well... They asked for it. Not really, but they did. But not really. Cool. Another Chilean sub, a Japanese destroyer, Japanese destroyer, and a Japanese destroyer, as long, along with two Chilean subs. Right now, I've been nuking, or not nuking, well, I haven't nuked a little bit, but the Japanese fleet has definitely experienced quite a few losses since I've begun bombing them. I'm not saying I'm doing a great job, but I'm not saying I'm doing a bad job. I'm doing a job. Nice. Indians, uh, come here. Just finish these guys up. Yeah, these guys getting supplies doesn't make sense, but you know what? We'll make sure that they don't last very long. You guys are doing okay. As you can probably tell, the game is a little laggy, so. Uh, you guys, I need you to be fairly quick about everything here. Because I don't want to have to reconquer all this. I've already conquered this once. So, yeah. Ooh, a couple more jet Swedish ships. Oh, they have a new pride of the fleet. They have their six heavy cruisers against my four relatively modern battle ships. Absolutely brutal. Let's see what happens. They have definitely the bigger navy, but my ships are just insanely better. Just insanely better. Ah, oh, sorry. I had to blow my nose. Awesome. Uh, yeah. This is what happens when you contest me. Ah, do we... Well, we didn't take the pride of the fleet. Not yet. Not yet. We're waiting on it. Oh, we get more fuel. Nice. I'll give it a, a little bit of time. I want to watch this battle unfold. Oh, look at those ships. Oh, don't let that pride of the fleet get away. No, no, no. <sighs> Ooh. Another swerp. Let's pause it real quick. And... 0.86 years ahead of time. I could really use more fuel, so let's do that. It is 1947, just to remind everyone. We lost two planes there, and we should be doing okay here. Lubick. Oh, Japanese destroyer. Japanese destroyer in exchange for a plane, and we suck a convoy. Nice. Just don't lose any part of this, I am. I'm trusting you, man. And I will try to remember to puppet. Vietnam. All right, and nope, we still haven't sunk the pride of the fleet. That's a last ship. Last ship. Come on. Oh, it got away. God dang it. It got away. Eventually, we will get it back. We will make sure that it expires. But nice. That's actually pretty good. Four planes in exchange for four heavy cruisers, a light cruiser, three destroyers, and thirteen enemy planes. Uh, immediately, I'm gonna go ahead and tell my boys to go ahead and heal up. Wow, look at these destroyers. They're veterans. You guys, you personally helped sink things. Probably because they have the dis torpedoes on their uh, ships, which actually give them quite 90 attack. Jesus, that's really good. That's actually really, really good. Ooh, I am loving that. Uh, yep, yeah, we're coming back. We're actually doing okay. On this front, um, we might find places where we can attack, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. Doing okay there. Uh, give me those guys. They seem a little better equipped at the moment. Philippe. Nope. Philip. Nope. All right. Could you use at 100 medium bombers? 
Probably. Oh, uh, god dang it, the UK invaded again. I have to get to, to Africa quick. Oh. Okay, so the Spanish invaded Africa once again. Uh, we seem to be doing okay over around here. Go ahead, take these guys out. This is looking like one hell of a mess. Nikolai was injured. Yeah, if we could maybe move a little bit faster and in the Middle East, that would be great. Oh, I lost a plane. But we did sink a destroyer as well as another destroyer. I need you guys to hurry up. Maybe, did you already accomplish your goals? Maybe you already accomplished your goals. Maybe you need new goals. I'm going to instantly tell you to keep moving. Good, good, good. They're attacking us, but it's not going to last very long. Let's see if you can encircle that little group there. Uh, oh, god dang it. The Brits invaded the hog, the hay, whatever you can pronounce it as. For you guys, I need... Actually, I need more Coast Guard divisions. Uh, go up to 10. Alright, so we lost two planes. So be it. We sunk an enemy American convoy. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so that is done. That's good. You are in Soviet Theater 2. The Middle East is over here. You're split up. I need you... To stop focusing on this side, I need you to go ahead and take out the rest of these Turks that honestly should not have been born again. So go ahead, line yourselves up over there, while these guys, these 25 divisions, are going to have to brace for impact as we just kind of hold the line in the Middle East. That's really my goal. Alright, Greece. How have we not been able to kill these few divisions here? They have four divisions? Yeah, I don't think so. You can't withstand... 10 mostly modern tank divisions. Hmm. Gotta love coffee though. Alright, alright. Well, make them pay dearly for it then. Absolutely good. We will get it eventually. Alright, and this time attack a gamble without you two. Don't give them a break. Make them pay for their sins. Honestly, I might just nuke them if I can. Because this is ridiculous. You should be able to kill these guys off pretty easily. They have no ports yet. It's on, they're kind of on islands and stuff, but they're still on port. They have no forts. They have nothing there. And, of course, I'm pretty sure the AI at this point is using 40 with combat divisions, which really, really sucks. Sweden, what is your capabilities like? Oh, you're almost out of manpower on scraping the barrel. So soon, it'll be so easy to push that I will just literally walk into Sweden. Cool. Uh, another guy. I definitely need more Coast Guard, so go ahead and do that. The hog is okay. Hag, hog, whatever you pronounce it as. Uh, okay, okay. Nice. We mostly have Sicily done. Which means we can move this army around. I might actually move these guys to the Middle East. Potentially. Yeah, you guys are dying. Greece, what is your strength right strength like right now? That's not good for you guys. That's not a lot of manpower left for you. Since you guys are doing nothing, and I don't want my enemies to get too much more territory, go ahead and do that. And it looks like I'm going to have to buy some fuel from somebody. Oh, look at all these ships. Destroyer, destroyer, dis three destroyers, one destroyer, two destroyers, a destroyer, a convoy, and then two destroyers, and then followed up with another destroyer. I love it. Very good. Very awesome. Yeah, I probably will get a lot of fuel. Oh, we took Stockholm. Nice. I will get probably a lot of fuel, like I was going to say, from Romania. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Excuse me, my loyal ally. Thank you. And just going to watch the fuel capacity go up by... A little bit. Not by a lot, but by a little bit. 36 days, a little more than a month. Oh, nice. Look at those Swedish ships gone. Good stuff. Good, good, good stuff. Sweden, how close are you to capitulating? Uh, Sweden is very, very close. Nice. Two more Swedish subs. Another Swedish uh, destroyer. And these guys have been doing very well. These Czech divisions, mostly Czechs, with two Romanian divisions doing a great job. I enjoy it. I enjoy it quite a bit. And since the enemy likes to put a lot of uh, divisions where they shouldn't be placing their divisions, 
I'm gonna go ahead and bomb whatever is coming into the water there. I don't think I have any naval bombers or maritime bombers. Oh, I guess I do a little bit. I gotta s clean this stuff up. Uh, let's do... Uh, let's do level 2 just because there's already 100 of these guys. That'll be good. <clears throat> That'll be very good, actually. Ooh, an American convoy. Well, you deserved it. Very nice, very nice. We still haven't been able to take it, but that's okay. Give me you. Ah, just go ahead and attack again. I mean, I'm going to keep pressing these Greeks as hard as I can. Oh, I guess they're Americans now. So be it. It's either the Americans are dying, or these tank divisions will die. There's no in-between. One of you guys will die. Make sure it's not you. Ah, uh, and Yugoslavia is getting bigger and bigger. God dang it. And it looks like our guys won't be the ones dying. Which is good. Awesome destroyer sunk. Two destroyers sunk. Light cruiser sunk. Lost a couple planes. Sunk a British destroyer. Uh, it looks like we are out of artillery pieces, huh? Uh, well, re oh, regular artillery and motorized. So we need a little bit more regular artillery. As well. Advanced rocket artillery. We need motorized and regular. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, now we need some more aluminum. God dang it. Let's do that. And then build a few more factories and stuff like that. That'll be good. That'll be really good. I can still use more fuel, though. Do it right there. Awesome. Oh, we actually have a... Oh, some of the Turkish fleet is here. 17 Turkish convoys and two destroyers. Nice. These ships aren't even that good. But they're good enough to kill off destroyers. And that's what matters, friends. I don't want to put any more planes in the sky, because that does consume more fuel. I really don't want to use more fuel if I have to. Oh, uh, they took back Istanbul. Well, if you want to do that, then you are you will perish. Sweden is gone, thank God. Thank the Lord. Ah, oh, that's so good. Go ahead, kill off Norway. Finish this part of the front up. That would be great. Oh my goodness, we're losing quite a few planes here. But I guess I have a lot of destroyers and light cruisers. Huh. I definitely need more Coast Guard divisions, though. Definitely. Go ahead, just push these guys in. Pushing the Belgians. I don't know why Belgium's here. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Oh, and it looks like the Americans invaded me in the rear. Great. Uh, you guys? Oh, they're gonna... Oh, they're literally gonna cut me off. That's really not good. Honestly, this is pathetic. This should not even happen. Like, seriously. Come on, guys. And do that. I need better allies. I need someone to cut off the straits of the... The, uh... Mediterranean. If you guys can, I want you to be careful about what you're doing. Just do that. I will end the episode soon, of course. Uh, oh, good. We got it. We got it done. I'm sure I'm coming back to Greece sometime. We have to finish this part off first, though. Which is honestly really pathetic of my allies. But you know what? What else is new? What else is new? Awesome. Another British destroyer. I will end the episode soon. Just want to let you know. Let's see. Good, good, good. Don't let these guys stay alive. I mean, if you leave them alive, they're not, they're going to just come back and kill you. Oh, adaptable? Sure, why not? Oh, I can't because I don't have enough command power because I like using my command power too much. Ah, there we go. The Swedish pride of the fleet has been sunk. Great. Super great. Two more Japanese destroyers followed up by another Japanese destroyer followed up with... Nice. Very good. All right, so not too bad, guys. Uh, Indian expansion into the uh, into the Russian SFSR hasn't been great, so that's good for us. Um, other than that, we capitulated Sweden. At the moment, we have gotten rid of a lot of Turkish manpower, I guess I could say. Because uh, they keep sending, trying to send stuff over, but it never really works. We are trying to reclaim the rest of Turkey that we lost. We capitulated Greece. Uh, Yugoslavia is kind of back, but now my tanks are on their way over. And they're literally going to get stamped out of existence. And Sweden has also fallen, and now we are also beginning the invasion of Norway. Which would be great, great, great. We've been seeing a lot of ships getting our guys a little bit more naval experience. 
But that is the end of the episode for today. God dang it, America. All right, seriously, you're going to die here. Or you'll die tomorrow, probably. Go ahead. Before before we leave, is it possible to nuke somebody? I do have an extra nuke. And I'll save it for the next time. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we will continue to defend against India and kick the allies out of Europe and our part of the woods. Thanks for watching.